Hello everyone and welcome back to Trails in the Sky. Today we are going to go chase after those damn bandits. We're gonna go get them. We're gonna kill them. We're gonna hit them with a stick until they are dead. And they won't cause any more fucking problems. Like stealing shit. Ah, wait no, I think we found it. Abandoned mine, ha ha! We found it. Gate is secured with a heavy chain and padlock. This looks like the entrance to an abandoned mine. A lot of manga mine. Except the fact it's all deserted. The place abandoned quite a time ago. Padlock chain rusted the game is open recently. It means no possibility that the sky bandits entered through here. What if the army never investigated the place? I'm probably not going to find any clues searching around an old mine, that's for sure. What's wrong? Maybe it's just me, but do you feel the air flowing out of here? When you when you say out of here, do you mean the mine? Yeah, that's right. Let's see. His index finger with his tongue and held it out. All right, Estelle, that's rather subtle, but there's air flowing out of here. It's like I thought. Sometimes you seem to be surprisingly sharp, you know that? You get that from your father. Dad doesn't have anything to do with it. Yeah, it's certainly a possibility it connects to somewhere. It's probably worth checking out. Let's bust this lock off. Ah. We came all the way here, and now we have to go all the way back? Padding, padding, gotta love this padding, padding out the run time. Why make us go all the way back just to go all the way back again? We're gonna go back to the other, he's gonna be like, oh yeah, here's the fucking key. It's like, then we're just gonna go back. Where the fuck did the other go? Hello. Can we have the key, please? Red looks strapping gay. Yeah, we were lost. As the bows reaches nearest the Empire, it was the thick of the fray. And this village lost a number of good people in the hostilities. That's terrible. Yeah, it fucking sucks. Can we please have key? Alright, there's something we want to talk to you about. But before that... I already went here, though. I've seen it. Why didn't we just do this earlier? <laughs> Soldiers didn't check inside. Ever heard Louis' story? It really got me thinking. You can check the place out, and just in case you're not letting this key to the entrance, key to padlock, give me a bit of here. Not have an animation for him getting out of the goddamn chair. <laughs> Abandoned mine key. This key looks ancient. Don't mention it. I was indebted to the Bracer Guild for their help. It's only natural we try and turn the favor. Remember when everyone we dealt with was as cooperative as you. Alright. And now we go back. This is... I fucking knew it. We already looked at the thing. I already knew what happened. All right, now that we've completed that 100% completely necessary trip all the way back to the village, let's get going. Let's deal with those sky bandits. Okay. Ooh. It's bright in here. Isn't that the... Looks like we hit the jackpot. Well, shit, that was quick! Caught your red-handed, motherfuckers! Forget out the heavy things and focus on the food, provisions, and valuables. And hurry it up, will ya? It's only a matter of time before someone finds this place. Roger that, Kyle. What's an airliner doing in this place? Because this wasn't seeing things after all. Strip mining. It certainly turned out to be a great place to hide something of this size. Yeah, who'd have thought to look here? Look at that. They're loading the airliner cargo with their own ship. Let's worry about that later. we got to figure out a way to bag these guys before they get away again. The third trip, huh? Man, Don can be a real slave driver sometimes. Well, oh well. Once this is all taken care of, we, won't have to, we will be able to sit back and negotiate a nice fat ransom. 
What the fuck are you on about? What the fuck? Lee of what? Can we write? You're supposed to be not. You're not supposed to be here this early. Can we write? Not supposed to be here this early. What the fuck are you talking about? In accordance to the laws of the Bracer Guild. Yes, the Lebracer Guild makes its own laws, apparently. You are hereby under arrest and charged with the hijacking of an airliner and its passengers. For your sakes, that you come along quietly. You're trying to tell me that only three of you came here to arrest us? You see anyone else, bandit boy? Let's get them, boys. All right, let's fucking take them out. I'm hoping that that's centralized on Estelle. It is good. Uh, they're all basic. Ah, shit, she's poisoned. I just had to poison him, didn't you? Alright, uh, focus down this one, Josh. Sylphen Whip. Deal with these two motherfuckers. Hurricane again. Hopefully finish off that last bandit there. Nope. Not quite. Okay, there we go. That's better. Oh, come on, Josh! Hey, he missed. Got him. Tier. Haha, <laughs> missed, bitch. Get him! Get him, Josh! Ah, oh, damn. 
Heal yourself again, Estelle. So we'll strike him again. There we go. You're done, son. Got him. No wonder, Josek. Sweet talk won't get you anywhere, buddy. Surrender and let the passengers go. They don't know anything, do you? So you yeah, whatever. Fun of my awesome team name. You're dead. He's got a bomb. A another one. Oh shit! It's a smoke bomb. Another smoke screen. It's too bad about the rest of the cargo. I just have to leave without it. Later, bracers. I forgot my eyes. Don't worry, it's not poisonous. It just looks like it was a typical smoke candidate. How does smoke get in your fucking eyes? That ship is already out of sight. This is getting really old. It's not once but twice now that they've gotten away. If I can't demote it <laughs> this back at the guild, there's not much I can say in my defense. We didn't like this is all your fault. Responsible for letting him get away, too. We had to kick. If we got some time to kick ourselves over this, we got some time to get other constructed. I can't read. Apparently, I can't read now. Let's check inside the ship. There doesn't seem to be anybody in here. A piece of cargo left. Definitely, the sky bandits managed to make off with it all. At least judging by the looks of things. She did a thorough investigation of the place. Lift here, same type as the landing port. This guy Bennett's probably used it to move the cargo. This looks at the captain seat. Any other circumstances, I would love to sit here. Don't even think about it. Steering wheel to use the pilot of the ship. I wonder where the pilot could have gone. Hmm. That is strange. There doesn't seem to be anybody here. It's bright in here. There's a lot of light shining into this place. Um, doesn't seem to be anybody here. That's odd. Isn't there supposed to be, like, passengers that we came to save? You know, stuff like that? Hmm. Uh, plant. Bunch of plant murderers. <laughs> This is orbital engine control panel. It looks like the flow of the orbital energy has been stopped. at it. There's nothing in there. There's no hostages either. What the hell? Wasn't there, like, supposed to be hostages? Did they take them with them? The 
the fuck is going on? What am I supposed to look at? Oh, wait, there's another floor. Never mind. Um, doesn't seem to be anything up here. Oh, so now we're allowed. Check it over. It looks like there's nobody inside. High possibility the pass passengers are transferred to the Sky Bandits airship. And then to wherever their hideout is. Creed, this sucks. Right when I thought we had some clues, now we're back to zero. Not every clue is completely vanished. I didn't the Sky and its let hid the airliner in a place like this. As far as I can tell, the orbital energy in the ship has completely stopped, which means the orbital engine was stripped from the aircraft. I know this because the orbital energy in the in an orbit gradually recharges over time. Furthermore, the Sky Bandits made multiple trips to carry off a large amount of cargo. Considering the time and risk involved, don't you think it would have been more effective just to take the entire airliner to their hideout? It seemed a little odd that they didn't. So why hide the airliner here, then? All I can think of is that they did it in order to... Keep clear the Royal Army's search party. Steal the little engine. The hostages aboard their own aircraft, and they could have done that in the sky. Oh, well, maybe I don't fucking know. Too. However, I don't know what he's fucking doing. And what can we do? I hate to say, it, we may have to share our conclusions with the army and ask for their cooperation because they're the ones with patrol ships. And crawling back to the army and asking for help? Either way, we have to report to them about the airliner. Personally speaking, I think we should cooperate with the army, whatever their attitude may be. Especially if it means bringing the hostages back safe and sound. Now he has a point. First, Lugrin. Contact hacking gate, orbital telephone. Alright. Well, go fucking work with the army, Morgan. Dick. Oh! Speak of the devil. Hi! Howdy, gents! Two kids are sky bandits. The girl does look shifty. Hey, now, it's just rude. Think of a moment of, that proves your innocence. Oh, come on, man! Insufficient. Who would have thought a lot of you were conspiring at the sky bandits? Can you stop with the accusations, General? We happen to find this place one ha step ahead of your men. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? Petty bitch. If your innocence is proven, you'll be released in two or three days. Time being, the cell will be a place to cool your heads. Ah, fuck off. Not even funny, tossing us place that you've listened to the world we have to say. The army manages to arrest the Sky Bandits, I'm sure we have our names cleared. Oh, things are at the moment, that might not be possible. Why not? You remember the Sky Bandit leader we fought in the old mine said, right? He said this can't be right, you're not supposed to be here this early. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that would be a thing. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now we're stuck in here. 
And you all seem to be in quite a bit of a fix. Didn't say anything. Came from the cell next door. It almost sounds familiar. Could you see something so heartless? Did you? How did you get arrested? How did you get arrested, dude? Why are you here? I thought we took you to Bose. Let's not worry about all the little details, shall we? I have my reasons, which are deeper than the deepest ocean and higher than the highest peak. Definitely not asking now. Should we just get tired as you talk your ears off? We don't really care to know. I'm talking so much that it'd probably be an old woman by the time you were done, and I'm definitely not ready for wrinkles yet. Didn't you listen, dummy? We don't want to hear about it. We can't have to parted ways. I did some window shopping in the Bose market and then moved to Antro's restaurant. You see, once I had eaten my heart's content, I began to play the grand piano and to feed my artistic soul. Upon doing so, the restaurant manager was overcome by my skill and asked if I'd stay to work as a professional pianist for the restaurant. That's great and all, but I thought you were supposed to be a lutist. Ha, ah, a musical genius is not limited to one instrument. Anyway, back to my story. After negotiating for a few of my own conditions, I accepted the job offer. Those conditions were, of course, food and wine for free every day instead of Mira. I don't know how to put it, but that's very you, Olivier. Yeah, I'm not sure how this has anything to do with you getting thrown in jail. This is where the real sob story begins. That night I had been enjoying my plate of sautéed duck that I had the chef prepare, but the blood sauce of which had been used was a little too overbearing for my palate. Coincidentally, I began to feel that the normal red wine was not satisfying enough. The more you talk I want to hit, the more I want to hit you. But go on, I'm curious in spite of knowing better. Well, I borrowed a bottle of wine which seemed to be good from the cellar, something called the Grand Chardonnay from the year 1183. Auction off in the Royal City. Oh, well, aren't you informed? I heard a rumor about it too. Of course, I was interested in having a drink for myself. Auctioned off. How much are we talking here? We went somewhere in the neighborhood of 500,000 Mira? 500,000? For this one bottle? That's out of this world, and you didn't. And you didn't. Did you, Olivier? Such a needless question. Of course I opened the bottle and had a sip. The sweet-smelling fragrance tickled my nostrils. It's a luxurious, mellow taste caressed my throat. And can you believe what else? A rose to vin vin vignette of time and space existed within that very bottle. I don't think I can listen to this any longer. <laughs> yeah, my ears are bleeding from listening to such stupidity. Completely dumbfounded. Sad thing is, after taking a, a sip of such excellent wine, I began to feel the food was lacking. And... And as I was having the chef cook me up something else to match the wine, the restaurant manager returned. Since I'm not a stingy fellow, I cordially invited him to join me for a drink. Some odd reason, he got rather upset. <laughs> I, can't, I can't imagine why. And before I could say another word, a group of soldiers came falling in. Thing led to another end. You got your ass thrown in jail. Oh my god. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> and a surely misheard idiot coming from yourself. <laughs> are you listening? This is where the story gets interesting. Several further trials awaited for me after I was brought here. Hello, are you listening? No, no one is listening, dude. Uh... This early in the morning? It's a little early for me. No, it's the opposite. You're being released. Is there a reason for this? Yes, I like to consider myself that reason. Usual place to be meeting you. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate you bailing us out. And hey, Mabel stood it up on our half. Explain your situation to General Morgan. A situation? One question for the both of you. Are you really the children of Cassius Bright? This is true. Mention of the girl that suddenly resembled Lena. Enjoyed your mother's cooking on several occasions when I visited your home in Roland. In fact, I we even met once when you were just a baby. Now wait a minute, your personal acquaintance of my dad's? I didn't know. Ca I don't know Cassius Bright the Bracer. I only know the one from the service. He's a rare strategist. Can't imagine the, what he saw in the Bracer Guild. Makes me angry just thinking about it. He had me. You'll have to excuse me. What's wrong with him? It seems like your father was a brilliant officer of the military. I heard that in general he tried several times to get your father to change his mind about retiring. 
It's kind of hard to believe. However, it's the case, the general's hatred for racers may stem from Cassius leaving the army. From the vexation of being left by one of his most promising men. Get the same impression. The saying is that our lives are such a pain because of Dad, a dirty, rotten scoundrel. That makes sense. One of the things I'd like to discuss with you. Oh, sure. I should probably let Olivier out. I don't even mention it. Could it be? Hello! The cell next to you! Oh, look how callous people can be at times. How could you ever forget about him? How lamentable. How pitiable. Fine. Be that way. I shall wither away, friendless and hungry, alone in this dark purgatory. <laughs> Is he still here? Yeah, I completely forgot about him. <laughs> Poor Olivier. The one who chugged that bottle of Grand Chardonnay without a second thought. Indeed, that is I. I proceed to advance the payment for the exquisite services I was about to render. Quite the interesting character, all right, so you could do bargain general for your release. Truly kind service of man such as myself. I think maybe asking a bit too much. Restaurant does take this trial. There's going to be at least a lawsuit. You need to worry about that. You see, the owner of the restaurant is me. Oh. The Grand Chardonnay was the very one I bid on. That being the case, I'm fairly confident there won't be any other problems over the matter. Damn. You're just gonna let that go? 500,000 Mira? At least don't lay on the compliments so thick. However, it pains my soul that I partook such a fine wine without paying a single Mira. I shall play the piano for the restaurant per our contract to remedy that. I'm going to have to pass on that. After what happens, I think it'll be a bit awkward having you back there. I, for one, don't think he'd mind a bit. Does seem to have some pretty thick skin. Yeah. Let's see. Seems like you're investigating something at the moment, right? I'll lend my assistance in return for the wine. That sound interesting. Could I ask you to join these bracers in the work? Haha, -ha, could you ever? This is a new working... Hold on a sec. What did we do to deserve this? General weirdness aside, simply being an amateur like you, simply having an amateur around you is honestly going to be a pain. Confident that you'll be a drag on our work or our sanity. I'm somewhat confident in my marksmanship and magic. And of course, I'd be distressed if you tried to list my music genius in this game group. That's the kind of, the kind of lie that really gets me worried. You use an extra hand, so we can't count on the army to sort us. Help us out, I have the feeling we short on manpower. Alright, you can use what you're worth. Yeah. However, if you happen to conclude that you're not worth your weight, you'll be dumped from the party. You okay with that? Uh, of course, I don't mind. I'd never let you down, so please be reassured. Well, my expectations of you are pretty rock bottom anyway, so let me know. So I know you won't let me down. Glad things are settled on that. Where you go, there's something I need to tell you. Tell us? Time did seem pretty noisy when we were heading back here. What happened? He was to be told last night there was a large-scale burglary in Bethlehem's South Block. The weapon shop and the Orpal Factory were targeted as were a number of private residences. That's unfortunate. So is with the Sky Bandits. And none at this time, it does seem highly probable. The Royal Army is currently conducting an investigation. An investigation of our own. Said so payment over the guild for the work you've done so far. Please use that money for your current investigation expenses. Please tell me it is a decent-sized chunk of change. I guess when that happens, it happens. Whether they're on our way or not, I think we should be forthcoming with the army about any information we come across. Because it, if they release a spy in their midst, they'll just leak it to the Sky Bandits. Like I said, I also think it's best to keep quiet about our findings. This act with prejudice. Alrighty, my bosom companions, shall we head to the South Block? Oh, buddy, who made you king of the show? Uh, I'm so happy Olivier's in the party. He was so useful. His magic is so good. Let's head back to the Bracer Guild and get some money. You're able to your investigation efforts thus far. 6,000 Mira! Hell yeah! Escort request. Stolen ring. I was burglarized the other day, and my jeweled ring was found missing items. It's quite valuable to me. If anyone had to find out me, I live on Vos South Block. All right, I think that's actually where we're going to cut it off for today. So this time, so all in all, we defeated the Sky Bandits. They ran away. We got arrested by the army. We rejoined with our boy Olivier, and now he's in the party for... But not forget. I mean, maybe forget. I don't know. I don't know how this game works for this party. 
But anyway, now we're going to go investigate those burglaries on the south block next time on Trails in the Sky. See ya.